Hi everybody, Dangerous Minds. I've been contemplating what to do because my last video, um, part one of the Further Empathy investigation, had a thumbnail placed as its cover and it was a an annotated screenshot from the video itself. And half an hour or so after the upload, I noticed that the cover note had disappeared. Having had experience of censorship on YouTube vids in the past, I knew immediately to check my inbox and sure enough, I received this notification. So I set about searching for my hard drive's copy of the thumbnail, wondering what on earth the objection could be. And my first thought, of course, was the psychopaths at YouTube were objecting to the use of their disability so obviously plastered all over my cover note. However tantalizing that thought was, I reluctantly dismissed the idea. Did they object to the starred manipulation? After all, their censorship is a manipulative strategy. But no, I dismissed that as well, choosing to believe that was well beyond the depths of their thought capacity. So there really was only one other element left to assess, that being the two stick figures in the bottom left corner. Surely not. This is the crux of the idea, the tethering of the psychopath's targeted victim. But yes, it dawned on me in a blinding flash, this was it. This was the reason for the thumbs down and its removal. I remember the chess channel who was heavily censured for using the term black and white to describe various moves on its chess videos. I'd like YouTube to explain how else to describe the opposing moves. I guess player A and B might suffice, but that could get rather confusing. Back to my personal labyrinth of the moment. The base stick figure is black. I realised, are they suggesting that it's some kind of slavery statement regarding the history of the United States and its shameful African ties? If so, that says more about the person doing the censoring than it does about me, the uploader. Having grown up in Papua New Guinea, attended a school with over 40 nationalities, lived in part of the world where the more generously melanin typed human beings far outnumber those less fortunate to possess such beauty, the bias certainly didn't come from me. The idea was, to say the least, frustrating and of course out of my control and perspective. Being the analyst I am, I began to think on this a little deeper and came to one clear conclusion. This is censorship gone mad. Recently, I've introduced a theme into my videos that is based on esoteric or ancient wisdom. I am currently working on one of them. This crossing the line pierces to the heart of that teaching that everything has merit in moderation that there is the extreme of both and the need to balance our actions and thinking in the central point to maintain harmony and balance this principle in kemet or what we presently call ancient egypt was called ma'at and the people currently running this world could do with some of this it's just and moral thinking my art asserts there is a fine balance required to achieve wisdom. 
and wise adjudication is what is required right now beyond any other course we could be laying. The problem with YouTube monopoly and single-mindedness based on a skewed perspective is that it does exactly what it allegedly sets out not to do. That is, it causes division. In my unified state of mind, the two figures were merely colored differently to distinguish between two states of mind. They could just as easily represent YouTube tethering me for uploading a cover that they decided they didn't like. By censoring my thumbnail, YouTube took a unified state of mind and divided it. Now I have to work hard on reunifying my thoughts and dismissing YouTube's obvious blunder. For the moment, I have apparently solved the issue, at least in the virtual world, by amending the thumbnail upload to display the same message in a less anthropic manner. But it should not be a division I should need to make.